Hey guys, we're out at the Raven Golf Club in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Beautiful day to be out here. Uh, Freddie and I spending a little time together. Just uh, been messing around with this drill with him for a little while and just how to pressure the ground. So a lot of people get mixed up on pressure and mass and uh, they know the pressure's got to be left but they then think their mass has got to be left. So this is a, just a quick way to show this. This is not really something you could hit off because it's so flexible as the board. Freddie's setting up there. A little more, pretty even with an iron. It's a five iron, isn't it, Freddie? Yep. Five iron. So he's going to feel like he pushes left to begin with, with the left foot. There we go. And then you see the left side or his left foot now is coming off the ground a little bit. So he's moved up and back in the backswing. A lot of pressure into the right foot there now. He's essentially feel like he's moving up and backwards. And then starting down, this is where it gets key. We want to feel as though he pressures the right leg here. So he's putting pressure into the right leg. His mass is staying over here, but he can feel like he's putting pressure on the left foot. So kind of bounce the left foot there for me a little bit, Freddie. So that is pressure over there. That is not mass. Yep. Go back to the top for a second. What a lot of people do is they get mixed up. They try and put mass over to the left too soon. They get the mass left because they think that's supposed to be where it is that early in the downswing. It really needs to go back more into the right leg starting down. Feel like you're crushing this board under your right foot. The ground pushes back, and then you can go up and out of it from there. But people tend to think this is pressure shift, that's mass shift. We need pressure shift, and that's what this board helps him feel. What tends to happen if you move the pressure or the mass too much to the left in the downswing? So the arms have gone up in the backswing. If you try and move the mass too far forward, the handle doesn't get down low enough. We still tend to rotate, okay? We're not gonna slow the rotation, but then what happens is either the arms are jammed behind you, or well, the handle moves out. You'll see a lot of this with players where the right elbow gets behind the right hip. None of those are providing power, but for a lot of people, they're also providing a big cut, which clearly we don't want. So it's, it's, this really helps use the lower body to provide sequencing for the upper body. So we are effectively using the ground to do that, which is a buzzword, but it's how do you do it? That's a big deal. There you go. So you don't need to feel like you're trying to twist that early. No. You can go back to the top. You can feel like because you've rotated, all the pressure's going this direction. There you go. The ground will push back in that direction and will help you rotate. You don't need to feel like you rotate. For you personally, you don't need to feel like you're getting on your left leg. You do that very, very well. Yeah. You're an athlete. You're going to move that way. You don't need to consciously try and do that. Athlete. Athlete. <laughs> athlete.